Hello everyone and welcome to the 2022 NADGT Tri-City Cup with coverage sponsored by Basket Bashers where you can go to find all your disc golf needs. Today marks the start of round two. Players will find themselves at Squam and Agonic, a much harder course where it's staying under par is much easier said than done. Squam and Agonic averages 375 feet per hole with most of those averaging just over 300 feet. However, one third of this course's holes are over 400 plus feet, something the players did not have to deal with yesterday at Bellamy. Let's see how the players attack the course today. Alright, here we are on hole 10. Andrew Leahy's going to lead us off with a forehand. So pretty much you're going to want to go 280 feet straight up the middle and he hits a tree and just goes to the left. He's going to be very short of the hole. The hole will drift a little bit to the right. Uh, there are trees in the middle so you have to choose if you're going to go to the left or the right. And most players are just going to go to the left side. The right side's very tight. And Sam's going to throw another forehand. And he's early. But he somehow finds his way around everything. He should be very close to the basket. And Seth's going to go with the backhand approach here. As long as he gets some turn on it and then fades out at the end, he should be fine. And it's up the middle. He's turning. And that should have faded just out towards the basket. And Elijah's also going to go with the backhand approach. And his throw is up and looking pretty good as well. He should be right up there. So Andrew's going to throw his approach... He, he might be close enough to put a bit on it here. Let's we'll see what he does. Looks like he's going to throw his James Conrad AVR. Do it. it was just short. You saw him hit a little bit of leaf right there. You got to wonder if maybe it would have gone in. Here's Elijah to take a birdie. He just misses off the side of the basket. Now Seth and Sam should be pretty much parked for their birdies here. Seth is in. Now Sam is going to take his shot as well. Alright, they're both in there. And Andrew is going to tap out. Now we've got Elijah for a comeback putt. This is a lot farther than I thought it was. It's not too far, but it's a good 15 feet or so. I thought that he just dropped next to the basket, but he's going to have to work for this one here. And it's... Oh, no. He just went in and then out. Oh, the leaner does not go his way today, unfortunately. That's a tough one to swallow right there. That's a hard bogey to take. So Sam is 14 down. Seth is 10 down. Elijah drops down to 7. And Andrew is staying at 3 down. We'll see what Sam can do with the backhand here. He's straight up the middle. It's looking good. So hole 11 is 290 feet, uh, pretty much straight. However, if you go a little bit deep, there is definitely out of bounds that you have to worry about. And Seth is up high, but he's drifting out. He should be good. He's definitely going to be a little short, a little early on that one. And the flies are back to bother the players. And Andrew has a monster forehand. Oh, he might have skipped out of bounds on that one. That's going to be close. Elijah's throwing his envy, I believe it was. You can hear Andrew there talking about his OB, that he might be 
encountering here. Elijah for a birdie. Oh, just short. Now here's Seth. He's going to have a couple trees in his way, so he's going to straddle out to the side. And he's just outside circle, so we'll see what, what happens here. He's up. Oh, he just lofts it right in there. Makes it look so easy. Makes it look so easy. Let's see if Sam can make it look even easier here. Automatic. These two are on fire. They're putting on a good battle right now. And Andrew was not out of bounds. And now here's Elijah for his par. Ooh, ruined our star <laughs> so, as you can see, we had three birdies and one par on the hole. Elijah has ruined the star frame, as Andrew said. But, they're still on a roll. Uh, so, hole 12 is 630 feet. It's very much an S turn to the right and then back left and then straight another 200 feet after it goes 350 or so. Seth should have a good look after that throw. The threes don't come very often here and they're hard to get. It's very much just get your four or five and move on. Andrew is just early around the corner. We'll see if he made it around. Now Elijah's also going to go with the backhand here. Because if you really flex a backhand, you'll get the most distance out of this. And he should be very good. He held it up very high. We'll see when we get down there. So Sam was early. He's going to have to flex this to the right and then left. Wow, what a good throw. We talked to him after and he said he threw a firebird. Always a firebird. Really late he was throwing a firebird as well. Oh, he's rolling it. Oh, he... No, he hits the first tree available in front of his disc. Oh, man. Here we go. He's going to forehand this one right up. Got the good angle on it. He should slide right up unless he caught his edge. He's right on the edge of the trail there. So this is where Seth ended up landing. And he flicks it up. He hit a tree. And he flew all the way up to the basket. He's going to be able to get the three. This is insane. That's... Oh, man. Sam's going to have to get up there quick or else Seth's going to take a couple on him. And Elijah with the throw. It's always oh, it looking so good. And then it hit that tree. If you put it a little bit further out, it would have made it right to the basket. So Sam has to get up there. Oh, he's looking good. Oh, and he hits a tree. He's going to be a little short. He's got a putt, though. Here's Andrew. His forehand. Oh, and he hits another tree as well. Elijah has a putt. Oh, he was just past the basket. Sam really needs to get this putt right here. This would, I believe, be his four. And he just misses it. He's going to take his par. Andrew is going to be going for six right now, I believe. I could be wrong. Oh no, and he's rolling again! No, stop it with the rolls! He can't take any more. 
Hole 5 already got in his head enough. <laughs> That's a great comeback putt. Unfortunately, it'll be a double bogey, and he'll be taking a 7 on that one. Seth Brown for a eagle. I believe Sam is in there for a par. And Elijah, I'm not sure. I've lost count. And a word from our sponsors. Here at Basket Bashers Disc Golf, we are a small family-owned business focused on serving the wants and the needs of the disc golf community across the United States. We are based in North Carolina, but sponsor team members from over 12 different states and put an emphasis on growing the sport, especially for women and juniors. We appreciate your business and support and strive for continuing relationships and top-notch personal customer service. Thank you. All right. Back on hole 13. And that was a birdie for Elijah. He's at eight down now. What's the way to like play this well? So Seth hits an early tree. You're going to want to go about 125 to 150 feet straight and then bank left. A lot of players are going to be throwing on a pretty extreme hyzer and pumping it pretty hard because the hole is 500 feet. You can see Sam going with his Firebird again. Yep, he should have a, a very good second shot. Leahy is going to throw his straight a little further than Sam's was, so he'll have a little bit of a different angle at the basket. Seth's a little early. He's got a lot of trees in his way, but he can pump it up the fairway a little bit. He might not be able to get his birdie, but he can get a par. Oh, he's early. He's going to have to fight for his par now. And Elijah is a little on the inside. He's going to have to cut corners to go around. Oh, it was looking good. It was looking good, and then he caught the tree. So Sam's going to try the inside lane here. It looks a lot bigger on camera, I can tell you that. Oh, and he's hanging it to the left. These things are literally killing me. Oh, I was and the bugs are back. Again. Andrew should have a very good shot there. There's OB on the right side, though. Oh, there's out of bounds on the rock wall to the right, and I'm not sure if he's in it or not. It's going to be close. Elijah... Just hits a tree. He should have a putt, though. This is going to be Seth for his third shot. As long as it holds the angle. He went a little long in the basket, I think. Here's Sam's third shot to approach the basket. Great shot. Slides right up onto the basket. Good shot from him. And this is where I thought Elijah would have a putt from, but it looks like he still might have to just throw an approach shot. All right, good shot from him right up next to the basket. And Seth's in there. We've got Elijah tapping in. Sam taps it in. And now Andrew's going to take a picture of his park job. All right, going into hole 14, Seth unfortunately was out of bounds. He took a bogey on that, and he'll be 12 down now. He's three back from the leader, Sam. 
The flick is up and it just hits a tree and goes to the right. So this hole is 350 feet, pretty much dead straight, but there are trees that are dead straight that you have to get around up there at about 275 feet. Sam's out just a little early and he hits a tree. Seth's also going to rip the backhand up the middle. It's looking very good. Great job, Wants Seth. it to go a little left. He's, he's up there. He'll have a putt for two. Now Elijah's going to try and rip one right up the middle as well. Oh, and he's out early and hits a tree. He's stuck in the woods here. This isn't good. This is a very hard... This is going to be a very hard par for him to make. Oh, and he's across the fairway just playing crisscross now. Sam's going to have to bend this one on an ante to get around everything and then have it come back out. And it it almost came out, uh, slid up the hill. He'll have a putt for par. Here's Andrew for his approach shot. Looking very good. He's right under the basket. Good second shot from him. This is Elijah's third shot. This is going to be... If he sinks it for his par, but he's still a good 150 feet from the basket. Yeah, he threw it right up there. He's got a pot now for his bogey. The birdie putt from Seth is up, and it is not there, but he will be getting a par, and Sam's going to have to make this to match the par to not lose a stroke to Seth. Oh, and he just leaves it short. Here's Elijah for his bogey. That's in. And Andrew and Seth will both be tapping out for a par while Sam is putting for his bogey as well. So that's going to put Sam at 14 down, and Seth will stay at 12 down. Elijah will drop down to 6, and Andrew Leahy will be 3 down. And the first drive is off, and it was Andrew Leahy. He hit a tree, ricocheted back off to the right, and almost hit Sam's dad. Here is Seth. He hits that tree and drops straight down. Um... This is going to be Sam's throw as well. So this is hole 15. Uh, it, it's 350 feet, and it's a very, very sharp right-hand turn. You'll see very overstable discs on a flick here for the most part. So that was his Firebird again to give you an idea. Uh, and he, he made it around the corner. He'll, he'll be down there. And Elijah's going to go for the backhand, and he's going to have to turn it very right. And it's on the angle comes out oh, you can see it right there to the left that's a pretty good shot he's gonna have a good second shot you can see the basket all the way down straight down at the fairway there there's a river that goes in front of the basket that the players are gonna have to cross it's not ob it's casual water so we might see some of that come into play oh and andrew throws a very good one down there he might have landed in that water i was just talking about Seth's going to try and whack his way out of the woods here. How? He made it. Oh my. He's in the middle of the fairway. He made it through everything. He just acts like there's not trees here. Sam for his approach shot. And he hits the edge and rolls into the water. So it'll be interesting to see if he can make the shot from the water where he is or if he's going to have to play from behind it. Oh, Elijah's trying to sink the bucket. Puts a good run on it. He's right there. 
Here's Seth's upshot for three. He's going to have a good look at bogey. Now, Andrew is putting right by a bridge. Or not putting, his approach shot. Um, so Sam's going to have to putt from inside the river here. Or just back behind it to get the casual relief. Oh, and he makes it! What a great par save from him. Seth's now going to have to make the bogey and drop another one to Sam. He's going to be three back if he makes his putt. What a good putt from Leahy from behind the tree. Is Elijah for a par save? Good par from him. Ooh, a little bit high, but it's in there. And now a word from our sponsors. Here at Basket Bashers Disc Golf, we are a small family-owned business focused on serving the wants and the needs of the disc golf community across the United States. We are based in North Carolina, but sponsor team members from over 12 different states and put an emphasis on growing the sport, especially for women and juniors. We appreciate your business and support and strive for continuing relationships and top-notch personal customer service. Thank you. All right, back on hole 16. Sam's going to lead us off here with a good backhand straight down the hill. It's about 270 feet. You're going to want to go about 250 feet dead straight and then bank off to the left about 20 feet. He's down going 250 straight and then 20 left. You best believe he's going to have a very good putt at that basket. That's a great shot. All right, next up we have Elijah. He's been very good with this putter today. Let's see if he can keep it up. Yep. Should drift. Oh, he hits the top of the trees and just gets taken out of the sky. And Andrew's going to throw the backhand straight up the middle. Drifting a little bit to the right. Going a little straight. <laughs> But he should be down there for a putt. He might have to putt across the river. Oh, Seth's looking good. He might have, he might have been a little bit short and not made it across the river, but he he should be good. So here's a little river. Um, Elijah's putting over it with a good approach shot. And Andrew is right on the edge of the water. He's actually in the water. Oh, what a good putt from him. He was in the water, but the water cuts underneath the land so much that he was able to put his foot on land and actually putt from right above it. What a good putt from Seth. That's going to be three birdies right there. And Elijah's in for his three as well. Not as well, but the only three. Um, so... So they're going to go down one. Uh, Elijah's going to stay at his six down. Seth's trying to catch Sam, but they keep scoring the same on most of the holes here. Seth has a good shot straight up the middle. So hole 17 is 542 feet. Um, it's about... It's 542 feet, yeah. It's about... 250 to 300 straight and then about another 250 to 300 yeah. to the oh, right and then oh straight God, and elijah kills it again with the backhand turnover he did it on 12 and he's doing it on 17 as well great backhand drives out of him today we'll see what lay he can do from the bottom of the hill he did not make it up the hill he has a tomahawk up it's not that bad it cut rolled at the end it didn't slide on the top like he probably wanted it to but he'll have a good third shot Here's Seth just going to try and smooth second shot right up the gut. And he's early and hits a tree, unfortunately. He's going to have a very tough, hard th third shot to look at his par. Here's Sam. A very good opportunity to take one on Seth. Put another stroke between them. He 
He's heard him say yes. A good flick. It's up there. He's oh man, what a good shot. He's got uh, probably a circle look for uh, for birdie. Elijah with his first shot farther than everybody. Second shot's up. You don't see him flick very often today. And he's up there. He has a chance for a birdie for a three. We'll see if Andrew can put his third shot up and get his par. Oh, it's looking good. Oh, and he hits a tree. Stop short. So this is Seth when he hit that tree and went off into the woods. And he hit another tree. He's going to be looking at his fourth shot right here. Has to get to the basket to take the bogey. Oh, and he just hits again and he's short. He might be taking a double bogey on this hole if he doesn't make his next putt. Andrew puts it up. And he's just over the basket a little long. Seth really needs to make this or else Sam can do some big damage with his next putt if he makes it. Oh, he almost hit the tree and drops it in. Oh, you can see. So you see where Elijah's putting from for his birdie. And you can see Sam is even closer. Elijah with a good putt, the jump putt. He runs it right in there. Yeah. You love to see it. Way to save it too. Good putt from him. All right. We will see if Sam can capitalize here and take a birdie and take possibly what could be three strokes on Seth. Oh no. Just left it short. Here's Andrew. Looks like he might have a tree in his way. Oh, he hit the tree, I think. They're both going to tap in. And Sam's going to tap in. Elijah already made his putt for the birdie. All right. Moving on to the last hole of the day, hole 18. We've got 514 feet. Pretty pretty dead straight. It's, it's a slight right-hand bend and then back to the left. You can call it an S-turn, if you will. Um, Elijah's going to hit early and go left. Sam now has a five-stroke lead on Seth. And that's what he came into the day with. And if he leaves with another five stroke lead, he could be in very good for the next round. Oh, God. Onus flicks out early and he hits a tree. He's going to be very short on the fairway. Maybe Seth can actually take one back and make it four. Andrew's going to get set. Flick is up, and it is good. It's around everything, but he hits a tree just short. Let's see if Seth can capitalize on Sam's mistake. Oh, he's out. It's a good throw, but he hits some cabbage and gets, gets kind of shot down. All right, Elijah's second throw is up, and he hits a tree short of the fairway, and he's going to be knocked down just where Seth's drive was. Sam is off to the right. He's going to have a hard look to get up there. Oh, no, and he hits another tree, but he luckily bounces into the middle of the fairway. He could have a good chance at saving his par on this. And we have Joel Dewhurst being the flash and running ahead of everybody. So Leahy's going to throw a forehand straight up, and he got caught up on the left side trees. He'll have a good look at, at an approach shot for his par. Elijah, sky high, and just hits and gets knocked down in the middle of the fairway again. He will have a 
long approach shot to set up his bogey. Seth's going to try and throw probably a backhand on an, a hyzer here and just curve around the trees. If he skips up, it's going to be well short of the basket, unfortunately. So Sam needs to get a good approach shot here so that he can tie the par. Oh, and he hits very early. He's going to be about 80 short at least. So Seth still has an opportunity to park the basket and then take a stroke back on Sam here. Elijah's going to rip up and save his par. Oh, he's just short. He's going to have to take a bogey, but it's still a good, good recovery after his first shot got knocked down very short. Andrew is going to try his approach shot, and he should be, he's a little short of the basket, he'll have to, he'll have to work for his putt. So Seth needs to get to the basket here, and he makes it look very easy, good job. Sam's going to have to hit this putt if he's going to want to stay five ahead of Seth. Oh! Oh, and he hits the top of the basket. And Leahy's in there. Good putt. Alright, Sam definitely needs to make this one if he wants to stay four back. Or four ahead, my bad keep Seth four back from him oh and it's in there good pop from him all right Seth's gonna tap out we're gonna have Elijah also tap out for his bogey I believe all right and that does it after 18 holes in the second round at Squam and Agonic. We have Sam Freed in the lead by four strokes ahead of Seth. We've got Elijah Garrison, Jonathan Umel uh, tied at six down for third place. That does it for Ace Productions. Big shout out to Basket Bashers for sponsoring the production. Everybody, have a great day.